Hello everyone, my name is Thais. I work as a staff at the Sofia University Admissions Office. And today I'll be introducing to you a little bit of Sofia University. So let's get started. So starting with our campus location, our campus is a very modern campus located in the heart of Tokyo on Japan's political, economic, and cultural center. Another very special thing about our campus is that all departments and faculties are located in the same area, the same campus. So it's very easy for you to move between classes and between buildings. Also, as you can see here in this map, our Yotsuya campus is very close to Yotsuya Station, and it's only five minutes on foot. And Yotsuya Station itself is very close to many other of Tokyo's important stations, such as Shinjuku, Harajuku, Shibuya, etc. As you can see here, Sofia University's Yotsuya campus is very close to many uh, important places in Tokyo, such as the Tokyo Sky Tree, Tokyo Station, and many uh, companies. So it's very good for students who would like to do internships or part-time jobs. It's very easy to commute between the campus and your part-time job. Another thing about Sofia is our identity and mission. So Sofia's history started back in 1549 when St. Francis Xavier first came to Japan, and his wish was to create a university at Japan's capital. Unfortunately, at the time, he could not make that dream come true, but some centuries later, Jesuit priests came to Japan again, and finally, Sofia University was established in 1913. So we have celebrated our 100th anniversary back in 2013. Another important thing about our university is the Jesuit and Catholic identity. So the fundament, the base for the Sophia University's educational purposes is our spirit is this phrase, men and women for others with others. And just a little bit a Japanese lesson. So Sophia means wisdom in Greek and in Japanese, Sophia translates as Joji. So in Japan, you can hear people saying Sophia University, or you can hear Jochi Daigaku, which is a translation of our name. So uh, Sophia University is a very traditional university here in Japan, and it's actually Japan's pioneer in global education, starting with the FLA, or Faculty of Liberal Arts, which was founded all the way back in 1949 as the International Division. So it was the first uh, faculty in Japan where Japanese students and international students could study and graduate together. And then some years passed and it changed names to Faculty of Comparative Culture. And finally, in 26, it became the Faculty of Liberal Arts as we know today. Talking about our undergraduate program, so here is a list of our undergraduate programs. And these are the Japanese taught undergraduate programs. For the English medium programs, we have the Faculty of Liberal Arts that I explained before, science, the Faculty of Science and Technology, and then the SOFIA program for sustainable futures. About English taught graduate programs, we also have a wide variety of them, as you can see in this slide. And the most recently established one was in the International Cooperation Studies Masters. And if you'd like more information, please check our website. We also have Japanese taught graduate programs as shown in this slide. Talking a little bit about the Faculty of Liberal Arts. At the Faculty of Liberal Arts, you can first, at the FLA core program, you can hone your English skills for research. So you can improve, for example, your composition skills, your thinking process, your public speaking skills, and then after the first three semesters here at the FLA, you can choose your major between comparative culture, international business, and social studies. So you do not need to choose your major before you enter the university. And of course, between these three majors, you have specific credits that you have to take after you choose the major. But of course, you can take some classes uh, between different majors too. Talking about science and technology, uh, we divide the program in two different departments, green science and green engineering, according to what the program studies more specifically. And they also share a lot of common ground on the area of environmental technologies. And here you can see that 
uh, a general uh, timeline of your studies at the Faculty of Science and Technology. And also, uh, lots of our science and technology students go on to do graduate studies. So in your fourth year, you can start thinking about your graduate research too, if you'd like to do so. Next, talking about the SOFIA Program for Sustainable Futures, this is a program based on the SDGs, so, uh, which is a very important buzzword at the world right now. And it's a very recent program. It started in September 2020 with four different departments, Global Studies, Education, Sociology, and Economics. And then in September 2021, we got journalism. And starting in September 2022, we have management. So lots of people ask, what's the difference between the FLA and the SBSF? So as you can see here, you need to choose your major for the SBSF before you join the university. So that's a very big difference between the FLA and the SBSF. At the SPSF, you choose your major and then you master your own discipline. And after you uh, join the university, you can also uh, study other areas of the SPSF too, but focusing on your own discipline more. And of course, you have a lot of uh, lessons using the common theme of sustainable futures. International students are always very worried about tuition prices. So just to give you an idea of our tuition prices for liberal arts and science and technology, for the SPSF, it's, uh, the price is very close to the liberal arts price. There's also some additional cost for the first year. And when you look at $11,000, $13,000, you may think that's very expensive, and that is, we understand that. But if you compare with, for example, a public university in the US or a private university in the US, you can see how uh, low our tuition is in compared to these universities. And also, you have a lot of financial aids here at Sophia. So for example, uh, we have this new student scholarship, which offers deduction of tuition for the first year of 100%, 50%, or one third of your tuition. And just to remind you that all Sophia's original scholarships and grants are available with no loan at all. Just to give you some facts and figures about Sophia, so the, our number of students is around 13,700. And we have time of entry both in spring and in autumn, depending on the department and the faculty. And we have a very small class size. The student to faculty ratio is 25 to 1. So we can have very interactive study programs. Also, for our international students and faculty, we have around 1,520 students from 92 different countries. And we have a lot of students from Asia, a lot of students from North America and Europe, especially too. And also uh, from uh, faculty, from uh, foreign nationals is uh, around 20%. And the FLA is the most diverse and international student faculty body on campus. Talking about studying abroad, uh, we have 386 overseas institutions in 81 different countries. So you have a wide range of institutions to choose from if you'd like to study abroad. And there's a lot of programs, different programs that you can choose, long-term, short-term, social engagement programs. Unfortunately, because of COVID-19, most of our study abroad programs have been canceled as of all other Japanese universities too, but we also have online study abroad programs. So as you can see here, the COIL program that started all the way back in 2018, you can uh, interact with other students from other countries and other universities online. And here you can see a list of our partner institutions. We also have graduate program partner institutions within Japan and also overseas. We also receive a lot of visits from global leaders, as you can see here in this slide, UN officials, the Pope Francis visited us, and we have a lot of different events here at SOFIA too. Also, there are special admissions to overseas graduate schools, especially for SOFIA students. So if you'd like to continue your studies afterwards, this is a very important chance for you. 
talking about career support, you can have support throughout the year for all students. And there is a wide variety of internships too. As I mentioned before, lots of companies are very close to our campus. And just to give you an idea of where our graduates from the FLA go, you can see here both international and national companies, lots of them. For housing, we have a lot of options too, off campus dormitories, affiliate housing options, and the price varies a lot, as you can see in this next slide, depending on how far away the dorm is, the facilities. So we do recommend that you check our website for more information. Talking about student activities, there's a ton of circles and the volunteer groups, athletic clubs. So there is always something going on at our campus. Just to give you an idea of our uh, campus th throughout the season. So here you can see in spring, we have freshman week orientation camp. In summer, we have the Sophia Open Campus and lots of other fun activities. And in autumn, we have the Sophia Festival, which is a very important event organized and conducted by all the Sophia students. And lastly, in winter, we have the Christmas season We have Christmas illumination lights and also a Christmas mass that is held on campus. So this is all from me for today. Uh, please do check our website and send us an email if you have any other questions. And I hope to see you at the Sophia campus very soon. Goodbye.